Torres. What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, baby? What's up, Taurus? What's going on in the life of a Taurus between the 1st and the 15th of November? Hmm. Hmm. We healing? We looking back over some things? Hmm. Hmm. Truth's coming out? We being expressive? Hmm. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Taurus between the 1st and the 15th of November. Uh, for, all, uh, for those of you whose first time is now, you on my channel, my words is fucked up today. Bear with me. Hey, boo, hey. <laughs> I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. It just depends on what the hell these cards say. And, you know, so if cussing doesn't work for you, babe, it's so many beautiful readers on YouTube. Maybe you can find someone who resonates more with you. And I don't love you no less. I love you a long time. To all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. A little dysfunctional. But. <laughs> we don't judge, we don't flex, we love, we share, we laugh, sometimes we cry, we know shit gets real, but we family here, so it's positive vibes only, we don't fuss, we don't fight, we leave that shit on other people's channel, because we don't do that up in here, the vibe is, it's a vibe, we don't even do that, okay, um, <clears throat> if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I currently have specials on my personal readings of $15 off for the 30 through 60 minute sessions. So, and that's going to end on November the 1st. So if you have not got your special in, okay, please do so, Taurus. All right. So without further ado, let's rock to all of my um old subscribers, family. What the hell y'all been doing? I, I, what the hell? We getting out of this fearful place. It's, it's time to it's time to get up out of that fixed energy. Does not like change, and baby, in y'all case, change is good. It is good. I mean, because keep doing the same shit over and over and over and over again. You keep doing that. How far is it getting you? I mean, let you just gotta you gotta come to terms where you gotta be real with your damn self. When people show you certain things as love and love, friendships, any of the ships. Know when to hop the fuck off the ship. Okay? Believe them. We rocking. So as you all know uh, from possibly cross-watching other signs that I've already done for November, my meditation's been working a bit differently. <laughs> I find that a lot of things come to me, um, especially with this full moon and Taurus energy popping. The veil is no more. <laughs> so the things that I need to see and say and speak, I'm not really not trying to focus so much I'm focusing on love, but not so much because there's so much inner work that needs to be done. Y'all, I'm a healer. We family, and I got to love you for the right reasons. You understand? And I can't I can't really touch everybody as far as, you know, everybody's situation. I get really close. However, I want to do some inner work. If you ever booked a reading with me, then you know we get to the nitty-gritty as far as inner work, okay? Because that is the root. When you get to the root of the foundational problem, can we tear the old structures down in order to rebuild in a positive way that's not so toxic, you know, to the point where it's taking from you and not adding to? So let's get it. The messages that I got for Taurus, y'all just like you heard go, y'all pulled up a fucking, y'all pulled up a whole page. A whole page of my time. Okay, because I love you. <laughs> but um, intuitively, I try to write down as much as I can because it literally plays like, a fast record, and I, I try to get what I can like a typewriter. So the messages that I got for Taurus during November, during from now into November, is regret, toxic, fear, acceptance, perspective, twin soul, karmic soulmate, past life, sex magic. Yeah, y'all know we're going to talk about that, huh? Bondage, broken, family issues molestation, love, abuse, seeds, manipulation, Pisces, wishful, instability, compan comparison, <laughs> I understand my shit. divorce, deception, release, selfish accountability, um, spiritual protection, vengeful, lack, heavy heart, jealousy, 
obsession, anxiety, Libra, native, psychic, stuck, newness, Aries, Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer, hurdles, seeds. Okay, so you guys take what resonates with you off the intuitive message, but if you can actually resonate with anything that I just really spoke about or if your whole inside shook as I touched it, spirit is trying to speak. Let's get it. I invite my goddess in, my inner goddess, so we can do our thing. Okay, so your first message comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. When the angels want to speak, I don't misconstrue their message. <laughs> I let them. <laughs> All right, so the message that you guys got was Azurite. Deep emotional healing. Sorry about the train, y'all. It's my location. I can't change that. It says your heart is ready to heal from the past experiences. And you're willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. That's right. It says this is a positive card showing that you're ready to process and move on from painful experiences and trauma. This means that you're open to receiving healing energy and insights about your experiences. You're guided to devote time for your personal healing work. This may involve appointments with a therapist or a healer or spending extra time in prayer and meditation or on self-care practices. Detoxification from chemicals and processed foods and also negative influences comes up very strongly for you right now. Now with this Taurus full moon being in Taurus's first house, it may promote uh, energy that's more so about the self, you know, that of the substance of Aries, the self, okay, or Leo, because Leo, I know, is going, uh, Leo is in, I think, I believe it's moving north now. So with that, um, it's about renewals and revivals, uh, possibly like in the way that we look at things or as well as in love, it's about starting over, new starts, fearlessly moving forward, okay? It's about skeletons coming out the closet, the unknown, Pluto in Scorpio, okay? Venus, I'm sorry, in Scorpio, that's Pluto energy, death, past lives, rebirths, re I mean, so there may be um, physical deaths during this time, a lot that you guys may be hearing about through uh, family, friends, and if you're experiencing that, my condolences, baby, I send you much love. And, you know, spirit don't make no mistakes, okay? Um, it's about, you know, endings, beginnings. It's about Venus, your ruling planet, you know. It's about karmic lessons, hereditary cycles, you know. If you are the type to, let's say, have abandonment issues, because for some of y'all, I'm going to touch on that. If you're the type to have abandonment issues, all right, and maybe, like, you're a single mother or a single parent, okay? And I feel like... Inside, you don't really realize how much you hold that hurt, you know, and that needing to be accepted, you know, by someone going from relationship to relationship to relationship until it is that you have your own children and maybe this person leaves or do something like out of your control. And it's like you have no more of yourself to give, but to give it to yourself in order to allow that healing and, and, and accept the fact that. You are changing history if you're there actually living and doing what maybe your father or your mother didn't do. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe like, or maybe it makes you understand why things were that way when you were younger so that you can truly heal and, and not take your perspective on how you've been moving, you know, forward to really, really, really heal and deal with your problem. Okay. So I do see during this time, a lot of you all. Spirit wants you to know that your ass, you're not stuck. You hear that train? It's time all the board. It's time to make a move. You're not stuck. Some of you all are, are, are remaining stuck in situations, continuously giving, giving, giving of yourself. However, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling trapped or you're feeling like you're bound to situations, okay, because someone is depending on you or, or what am I going to do or how are they going to do this without me? Uh, uh, can God have their job? Can God have God's job, please? Okay, that's not your job to be worried about what everybody else gonna be gonna be having going on because you it's time to get on the move and actually assert and and move your life in the direction that you would like it to go. Recreation, recreating the things that you that don't sit well with you, go rebuild it. Period. You're not stuck to anything. 
a lot of you all could be um could be learning about new opportunities, okay? Some of you all could also be young mystics, okay? I feel like you are kind of delving into, this could also be someone in your energy. Someone is delving into, because your third eye is like popping. Your third eye going to be popping during this time, Taurus. That's first and foremost. There is no veil. You will see people, places, things, as well as paranormal activity for what the hell it is. You're not crazy. It's just there is no more veil, okay? This world will accept God's plan. Because you have to understand, we don't control shit. We just mere mind. We mere puzzle pieces. Okay. However, a lot of you all are expanding your knowledge. Maybe taking a, a you know, a, I feel like someone was tied to like traditional ways of, or like some type of Christian or Baptist or traditional ways. And I feel like you're learning more. You're expanding your knowledge, and it's bringing you, it's bringing you that harmony. You know, inside that part of you that felt like was missing, it's filling that void. However, it's also surfacing up issues that you really need to deal with internally, okay? And some of you all are really kind of coming to terms with that when you find yourself trying to control situations. Some of y'all are like, oh, wait a minute. You know, I, wait a minute. Okay, I'm tripping, you know. Because there's someone here. Some of y'all could also be having someone in your energy um, that is learning how to kind of keep you there or this could be you Taurus trying to bond someone through, through through sex okay however this was actually part of your spiritual lesson and just know that you are protected you don't have to worry about actually being bonded but some of y'all are needing to cross a big body of water I'm feeling um and just really set the intention to leave that there you know really claim your heart give God your heart you know spirit create I belong to you you know not not any other man or woman um, with the intention of, you know, putting me in bondage, you know, and just forgive yourself, forgive the other person, you know, and just ask God, you know, to remove any dark negative energies upon you. And if you need any more further assistance, you know, feel free to hit me up. Okay. Um, I am seeing here also, some of you all, things are aligning for you. There's a strong, strong focus on your heart chakra. Some of y'all don't trust. It's hard for you to love. Some of y'all need to come to terms and really, truly, truly, some of y'all are really coming to terms to find out um, so about some type of hereditary cycle about your mother issues and how you, why the fact your child's mother, okay, or your mother, what they have in common. A lot of you are, are, are kind of seeing how like attracts like, okay? Um, some of you all are really needing to heal from mother issues. I feel like when you actually put that bonded, put that, put that burden down. You're going to be able to see things clearly because some of you all are really feeling a place of regret and remorse and, you know, you're feeling like, well, why come I wasn't good enough, you know, but that's about to change. It's not meant for you. It's okay for those emotions to surface, but it's not for you to stay in that place. Spirit is not wanting you to stay in that place. They're wanting you during this time. You have to go in the period of solitude to be reflective, be reflective and understand that you had to go through those experiences, be reflective. OK, so that you can actually find that harmony and that stability within yourself and stop beating yourself up out of expect out of expecting someone to give you what spirit is trying to allow you to see for yourself and really nurture within your life yourself. Some of y'all is really about self-love during this time and valuing and respecting yourself and knowing that you don't have to settle for not e motherfucking thing. If it does not work for you, you can't make it. If the shoe don't fit, why try? Why try to keep forcing that big ass foot? Or that little ass foot in that big ass shoe. That shoe's not for you. Let God do God's job. Love yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. And really, really, really find that beauty within yourself. Because again, like attracts like. A lot of you all are sages. You are sages. You had to go through this because a lot of y'all don't even realize how many people come to y'all to talk to about their problems or talk about get good advice because, and you notice that the shit that they bring to you is things that you have lived and people be like, oh my God, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm this, this, this. But at the same time, it's like, damn, like what you tripping for? Been there, done that, got the damn t-shirt. A lot of you all bring wisdom to the people around you. So you had to go through that. But understand that it's not your job to carry the burdens of other people. Some of you all, things are aligning as to where you're going to have to move forward. And some of you all are scared as shit. You're scared as shit of change, okay? I feel like I don't see the tower out here as far as what I have here just th thus far. But I wouldn't be surprised if I see the tower because things are shaking up to make you. Some of you guys have a, a karmic partner that you have to move away from, okay? I feel like 
moving away from this person is going to bring your life harmony. While some of you all actually have a twin soul, a twin flame, okay, who could be one of the signs that I named because for some reason when I said, when I spoke Aries, when I spoke Pisces, when I spoke Cancer, when I spoke pretty much the water babies and I, I who else did I say? Now, some of you all, you have to choose, you have to choose between a karmic partner. Both of these people come from your past life. You have to choose from a karmic partner as well as a um, a twin flame, okay? And with this karmic partner, it's kind of hard because some of you all could have a family with this person, and maybe you want us to hold on to the family dynamic. But I feel like for some of y'all, this person is drama for your motherfucking mama, and it's up to you to know what you will allow and accept into your life, okay, um, or, or within your life. Some of you all, things are really coming to harmony if you just take that step and move forward. Some of you all could be focusing on guided chakra meditations during this time. And you need to focus more so on your root chakra. Some of you all are learning that you're healers. Crown chakra is booming. Your dreams are going to be pouring. This full moon got y'all dreams lit. But it's a very it's a very informative moon for you all. It's, it's kind of giving you your next step and showing you whether you want to see it or not. Some of y'all, things are aligning for you to come into harmony with the Pisces. For some of you all, things are aligning, okay, with possibly having to move away from either a fire sign or with the number eight there. It could also be uh, with the fire sign. It could be a Leo, okay, but I do feel that it's faded. And this is why things have to align that way. You may not see it. But some of y'all, your dreams are very, like I said, they're very informative. Some of y'all have a strong tele a telepathic connection with a fire sign. And I feel like within yourself, you're really needing to balance the masculine and the feminine. Some of y'all are drinking too much. Some of y'all over drinking. Some of y'all are overdoing it. Some of y'all are needing to come to harmony with the fact that you're possibly going to have to split with someone who does drink so much because I feel that somebody is, both people are indigos, I'm seeing, but somebody, their overindulgence could be the ruin of another person. And so spirit is really like everything is aligning. You could even have an opportunity to move away out of nowhere, you know, for a job or something. And it's like, Spirit is trying to open the door to move you forward, to bring you back into that grounded place, as well as to what your heart truly desires. And for some of you all abundance, if you want to know why you got a financial break, because it's you hit a train, all abundance, all, all aboard. It's time to go. What you waiting on? What you scared for? It is time to go. Some of you all, you try to control the things in which it is that you think that you desire. But understand that during this time, Spirit is really going to show my sources what you want ain't always what you need. Because for some of y'all, it's a blockage towards your abundance. And for some of you all, you really need to be grateful during this time. You need to be grateful and you need to be faithful. Stop looking at the negative side of things. If, maybe, hope, that needs to die. Let that just totally... Leave your vocabulary. Because you have, your planet is retrograding. Luck and ab abundance is your end goal this month. Especially in November, things are going to come very, very, very fast paced for you all. Grounding. You really need to get out of nature. Some of y'all are going to receive a massive, I've been saying that for a lot of times, a massive ass download in nature. Those frogs that y'all been seeing, they are speaking of um, abundance. Good health. Somebody is going through a health issue possibly with the father or with their father. The father of your child could be going through a health issue. And I feel like that's an issue where you're needing to forgive what will make you laugh or make you cry. Things are stable. And now maybe you wanted a stable relationship with your kids and their father, but this person has to be humble. You are this other person. And so believe that spirit is working for you, not against you behind the scenes. Some of y'all are walking away from a marriage during this time straight like that. This could be with the Sagittarius or Pisces. Some of y'all are actually setting boundaries with the Sagittarius and speaking the truth. You and this person are going to speak the truth during this time, what I will or will not allow. I feel like you will not see it coming. For some of you all, you're really needing to balance the relationship that you have possibly with the Libra. 
Some of you are the balance is I'm leaving. I'm I'm out. Okay. But some of you are um you're going to find out some information possibly when somebody get pissed off. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're going to be finding out that this person could have had some type of um connection with a uh Sagittarius or a Pisces. Some of you all, some of y'all are, some of y'all could be pregnant or could be leaving somebody else. Some of y'all, this is a catalytic situation to make you leave your karmic. Somebody got pregnant. There's going to be some information about somebody pregnant. And I feel like this is the newness to get you out of a relationship that you felt like you were trapped in or stuck in for some time. And this person was a soulmate to you as well. But I feel like spirit is giving you this form of newness. OK, some of y'all, there could be a truth about somebody being married. OK, that's coming forth. And I feel like somebody finds this out like somebody could find this out either like someone like conversation or like word of mouth or also via social media. I feel that, um, yeah, somebody just received the truth. Somebody's going to, you're going to receive a truth possibly from a fire sign. Okay. Or this could be, um, a, a Sagittarius. This person could be your, could be a soulmate to you. This could also be a Leo, but I feel like this person is very burdening and you're going to let this person know, look, I can't do this no more. I got to drop the burdens. I know that this is just not life. You know, I, I want to actually live, not merely exist because this shit here is not getting me nowhere. Some of y'all could actually be being truthful um, and moving towards your twin flame. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Gemini. Some of y'all, after some truth is revealed, okay? But some of y'all, you know, you get ready to move towards the Aries, okay? I feel like this person, you feel like this person completes you. You feel like, you know, you are my other half. You are my twin soul. But some of you all, you're healing possibly from a past soulmate or some of you all are very burdened about like telling some truth you're needing to tell the truth and I feel like it has to do with two soulmates okay but some of you all are wanting to start new some of you all feel that you have a manipulative Aries in your life I feel like you want to move new with this person but at the same time you kind of had like in and out intentions with them at first and maybe this person had those intentions with you but I feel like there's going to be an end to a cycle, and it could have to do with two fire signs. It could have to do with the air signs. Yeah, some of you all are transforming your relationship. You want to move your relationship to the next level. For some of you all, they go that damn tower I spoke about earlier. For some of you all, you're going to have a tower moment coming uh, during this time, possibly with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus like yourself. And I feel like someone it's like a power struggle here as well someone wants to hold on to you someone wants to nurture you and you just want to be left the hell alone so if you like no because i know i got somewhere to be i've had my dream i've already seen my lover and spirit has spoke to me and told me i got somewhere to be i'm settling right now yeah some of you all are going to possibly make an offer okay or some of you all could also be possibly making an offer to possibly somebody who you work with as well or receiving an offer. And I feel like these are for my people who have been stuck in stagnant relationships with a karmic partner or a karmic past life partner who's toxic. Your relationship, your bond is toxic. Some of you all could also be making an offer to a Capricorn after a period of indecision or receiving an offer. And I feel like once this person finally makes the offer to us, I feel like if this person has been indecisive for some time, maybe you guys connected on a passionate level. I feel like some of you all have just been in your head so much. This is Taurus in their head about accepting an offer from a Capricorn or possibly a Sagittarius because you think that this person is toxic as fuck. Some of you could have been also like having someone in your energy using you for money or you're using for somebody else for money. And you're going to get some disturbing truth that's kind of spirit. It's like spirit is kind of detaching you all. Some of you all, the truth could be about um, a third party situation. Okay. Um, and somebody making you an offer to be a part of a third party situation, okay? And it's really, again, about what you accept or allow in your life. Some of you all could be taking an offer as far as uh, reconciling with the water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, some of y'all twin soul is a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all could also be reconciling with someone who you possibly had, like, some type of dealings with in the past. You could have been married to someone in the past. But some of y'all, y'all ex-ex, like y'all ex-husbands 
or ex-wives is wanting to come back and they're wanting to express the truth, you know, of why maybe they felt made you feel like you weren't good enough, okay, but or maybe like telling you this is how you made me feel. But I feel like they want to work on a relationship and again this is a past life so many some of y'all are going over and over and over and over and over a damn game and damn what hamster wheel. Okay, when spirit is trying to move you toward this Queen of Cups, because this Cancer Pisces Scorpio is the person who's going to give you this Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all need to stop drinking so damn much. Okay, it's a part of your transformation. All right, some of you all, you're needing to express your love to that Scorpio. That Scorpio wants to love all on you. But I feel like during this Scorpio full moon, Scorpio full moon, this Venus retrograde in Scorpio, it's going to bring you a lot of. Change, it's going to bring a lot of changes that is going to stabilize things in your life. Some of y'all, y'all definitely got an earth sign that could have been juggling in the past that is like stalking y'all on some shit. Because to them, you were their wish. But for you, you feel like there's not an equal give and take. And I'm done trying to give to two situations. So I got to cut the shit short and leave you out in the cold. I feel like I've, I've been waiting to make the damn decision. i even been out here looking at these little ugly ass birds, but at the end of the day, you can hold on all you like to, but I'm moving on because with me moving on, possibly with my fire sign, my Aries, or making this damn decision to move on and just focus on my coins, I'm going to find who it is that I need to be with, who it is that I'm passionate about. For some of y'all, it's definitely this damn Leo, and it's going to make somebody, it's going to leave somebody feeling hurt. But you got to let God do God's job because this cycle is time for it to come to a close. And it's no longer in your hands anymore. The control is gone. Okay? So I love y'all very, very, very much. I really wish y'all all the best of, like, healing because this is really, really deep. Also, with that sex magic thing, somebody could also be holding on to you. Thank you, Spirit. There's an air sign or a fire sign practicing some form of sex magic. Baby, to hold on to you. This could also be an earth sign as well. And you even, you could be doing this towards to hold on to somebody or maybe you're holding on to somebody like, or like doing some type of spell to make somebody like continuously spend finances, but you really need to stop. You're going to reap what you sow. Stop. And this is somebody who really don't know what they doing with magic. I don't know if you paying somebody or, or because I'm hearing also somebody's paying somebody. I don't know if you paying somebody. But whoever you paying, their intentions is strictly on the money. And when you're doing that spell work, you really, really, really got to be careful of where your intentions is. Money is the root of all fucking evil. And remember that. And you can't keep nobody. You cannot keep nobody bound. They don't belong to you, baby. You really needed to heal that vibration and understand that it's okay to be by yourself. It's not you being a, you're never lonely. It's okay to be by yourself. It's okay to have to accept the fact. Get to know yourself. You're always giving, 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 giving. Spirit is only allowing you to give to yourself. You got to see your substance. So you can make other people put some fucking respect on it to see your substance. What will you, you can accept the fact that, okay, I accept the fact you're not shit. But that doesn't mean I'm going to continuously allow you to do this in my life. And as some people in your energy are going to be handling you like that, and it's not to make you feel abandoned or make you feel overlooked. It's for you to comprehend and get it. This person is trying to lead by example. This is what I won't allow. This is what I won't accept anymore. This is not who I am. But some of you is having it involuntarily because some of y'all, if you're married and you've been having a side piece and you didn't tell your side piece you're married, the cat's out the fucking bag. But it's up to you to make a decision what you're going to do. Comfort, you're not going to find success in your comfort. Let me say that again. You're not going to find success in your comfort. You have to step out there, jump off the cliff towards what you're scared for. You the big bad Balboski. What you scared for? Stop being scared, family. You got this. I promise. If you just trust the process, baby, you got this. Things are aligning for you the way that they're supposed to be. Some of y'all are having to move away from one person and jumping right into something else. And this person, everything that you wanted to be with this other person for years and years, for some of y'all, everything is just going boom, 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 boom. Because when you do what God wants you to do, you're going to win. Regardless, if you believe that you've already won, so be it. Get out of that negative mindset. Well, I don't have enough. Well, maybe that's not enough. Well, I don't have, I can't travel because let God do God's job. Please. And also, Mocha does not 
I do not. I do not promote gambling. But the fact that these damn slot machines is in my ear, and I forget what other energy that was. I want to say it was Scorpio. The fact that these slot machines in my ear. Take your ass to the casino, play raffles, play your local or at your local bingo. Look here, I'm country. I don't know if y'all get down with bingo where you live at, but <laughs> your local bingo, get down. Because Lady Luck is on your side and your money energy is popping. Finance is going to be popping for you, but you're going to have to sacrifice some in order to get something back. Period. No workarounds, no compromises. You know, spirit is no longer compromising with you because some of y'all are sitting still and not making the move. So the move is being made for you so that you can truly, truly, truly grow. You think you're doing good now. You ain't never experienced the bestest. <laughs> uh, Taurus finna be on the bestest. <laughs> That's my little Bula Jetto shit. Taurus finna be on the bestest, bitch. Okay, so y'all, I send you the bestest. The bestest love. The best is financial blessings, baby. Healing energy. Mwah. Healing energy. And if you need that reading, because this is what I got for y'all between the 1st and 15th of November. If you need that personal, y'all hit me up. We're going to make that happen. And if you're getting 30 through 30, 45, or 60 minutes, take $15 off the listed price until November the 1st. And I might have something special for y'all in between time and the meantime. After I get all these generals uploaded. So I love y'all, my babies, and off to Aquarius. Mwah. Bye, boo.